Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about a brand new powder from La Prairie. Now this thing is expensive. I was going through the new section or new arrivals in the beauty department on Nordstrom. I do this every single night. I just go through and see if there's anything new. And I see this powder and I remember the cellular treatment powder. It was like a hundred, maybe a hundred twenty-five. I feel, feel like it was a hundred dollars. And I actually did not like that powder. And I saw this, I absolutely love the Skin Caviar Foundation and Concealer. This just makes my skin look like nothing else on the market. I <laughs> hate the price tag on it, but something about it is just so worth it to me. So I do repurchase this. But we're gonna be talking about this bad boy. So my first thing was like, okay, did they get rid of the cellular treatment powder? They had a loose version and a pressed version, and they do as well with this. And it looks like they have, because I couldn't find it on their site. And so I think that they have replaced their cellular treatment powder with the new skin caviar powder. So this right here is the skin caviar loose setting powder. It comes in three different shades, 01, 02, 03, all different shades of translucent. I have 02 because I knew that I was going to be a little bit darker for the summertime. And I saw the price tag, $220. I was like, why? Why? This doesn't make any sense. And on top of that, on top of that, to make things worse, <laughs> This has less product than the original loose setting powder from the cellular treatment line. That one had two ounces and a little travel guide. This one has a travel guide as well. It is down, hold on, let me open this up. You have to go through like 10 layers to get all this stuff out, let me tell you. So this does come with a travel size and this one has 10 grams in the little one and then this one is 40 grams and 1.41 ounces the other one was two ounces though so yeah you're missing a little chunk right there <laughs> and you're only adding over a hundred dollars to the price tag so i'm sitting here curious like i have to know why again i did not like the cellular treatment powder i felt like it just looked cakey on my skin no matter what i did i just felt like i did not like it so i was never on board with that but this one because i love the foundation so much i decided to grab it i'm going to demo this I am also going to put it up against another powder so on my face right now I have two different powders I have this one and then a much cheaper option still high-end but much cheaper and tell me just go ahead right now can you see a difference on my skin just let me know before we get into this so I'm gonna give you guys the information show you the demo and then I'm gonna give you guys my thoughts I have been wearing this non-stop for the last five days so i know how i feel about this this is not a first impression on the la prairie website it reads the key benefits are it refines skin texture smooths the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles and minimizes the appearance of pores preserves a level of hydration in the skin leaving it with a feeling of comfort sets foundation for long wear provides a natural matte luminous finish for a youthful glow. Now the science, a sublime fusion of caviar science and color artistry. Skin Caviar Loose Powder combines caviar extract and an advanced blend of pigments. Further enhanced with La Prairie's exclusive cellular complex, which infuses the skin with nutrients. Skin Caviar Loose Powder provides unparalleled complexion perfecting benefits in a gossamer textured veil. So that answers the question as to why the cellular treatment one is not available because they added that technology into this powder. And you're getting all that science and goodness for just $220. And I'm gonna show you guys the powder. This is again, number zero two. There is a mirror, there is also a puff. I always take the puff out. I like to use the puff actually, before I go in with my primers, I like to take these puffs and I get off any excess oil or any skincare that might be sitting on my pores to help blot that away. So this will never be 
in here. I have already used the powder and there, so there's nothing up top and there's a little guy right here, if you can see that it will lock it and unlock it so that the powder isn't going to get everywhere. What I wanna do though is unlock it, close it, get some of it out so you guys can see what the number two shade looks like. That is it right there. So it's nowhere near as light as my other translucent powders. This one is the one that's the closest to me. This is the translucent from Decorte. So you can see the difference. And then there's one shade darker than this as well. Again, they're all supposed to be translucent though. And then for the little mini travel size, you push this little button, it comes up. You do get a mirror again, a tiny little puff. And then I haven't even opened this and I'm probably not going to, but it has something as well to keep it from getting everywhere but it's nice to have that. The cellular treatment powder did have that as well. Now it's time for the demo. After using this powder for a while and really studying the texture of it, this does, it says it has a youthful glow and it definitely does. It's not a super matte formula. It's definitely not like anything I have in my collection. It does not feel like any other powder I have. It's, it's matte. But it's not a flat matte and it's radiant but it's not sparkly and it's not even really gonna give you like a glow it's just not dull I don't know how to explain it it's absolutely beautiful but what I'm going to do is put this on this side and I'm comparing it to the Chanel loose powder and this is in the shade number 30 natural again translucent too. I felt like texture wise, this was the closest I could possibly get to it and it's still not the same, but I'm going to go ahead and show you. I'm going to start off with my Chanel loose powder and my Wayne Goss 00 brush and you will see me just setting my makeup on this side of my face. I'm just putting a light layer and I've already had my under eyes done with my Huda powder. After I set this side, I go in with my La Prairie powder and I use the brush that I can not pronounce from Sonia G. It's a part of her face pro line and I just again do the same thing on that side. Now I'm going to show you guys close up after I've finished off my makeup. One thing I did not do today though is buff. So all I did was take a clean powder brush and go over everything trying to make sure everything was nice and blended but I did not add a powder on top of this. So there's nothing else. You know, I've got my highlight, my bronzer, my blush and everything, but there's not a buffing powder like I typically would because I wanted you guys to see just the powders. Which side do you prefer? Oh, and also I did not use any sprays. No sprays on my face at all. I did not want to alter this powder at all. <laughs> now, for my thoughts. I actually really love this powder. The silkiness of it is divine. Like I said, there's nothing in my collection that feels like this. It is so silky, so finely milled, and it's not drying at all. Now I have tried to use this underneath my eyes. It for me does not work out so well because of my pores. Now it does blur the appearance of pores. However, throughout the day, if I don't bake with my Huda Beauty powder, this is not enough for like under eye setting because this area right here will become too oily. Like this does not keep my oils at bay in that area. Now for the Chanel side, I will say that I love this powder. I use this all the time. It's something that I have repurchased over and over again. I especially love it during the summer because it does help keep my oils at bay just a little bit better. Still not something I can use underneath my eyes, but it is more matte than the finish of the Skin Caviar. I don't see a huge difference but there is a difference. Like I can feel the difference more and I can see it when you're really up close to my skin. I don't know that it's something that you're gonna catch on camera, but there is just like a subtle, subtle kind of more skin-like finish on this side. It's very natural. I love both powders. I don't know what to say. I did not want to like this powder. I'm telling you, because I didn't like the cellular treatment, I was like, I'm not gonna like this one either. There's no reason why this is $220. And I have to say, even though this is skincare infused and it's beautiful, 
I am definitely going to use the rest of this up, but I don't know that I will purchase it again. Oh, it's just, I feel like $220 is just so high for a powder. And you know, I spend $100 on a powder and you know, that's, that's high. $220 is like insane to me. And again, I know this is $240, but this to me, it just, I can't live without. The powder though, I just don't know that I could spend $220 again. That's all I can say is that it is beautiful. If you want to try this out and you have dry skin especially, I really think this is going to be a top-notch powder for you. But at the same time, I have to highly recommend the Chanel. It is so close. It's just something you're going to feel on your skin and a slight difference in just being slightly more natural. There's not a big enough difference to justify the price tag. And I hate saying that because I feel like I'm being mean to the powder even though I really like it. If it was $100 like the last powder, I would repurchase this. And probably $125, I would still repurchase it. But $220. It's 220, you guys, but I gotta tell you, I love it. I, oh, 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 don't let me forget this. I have gone a little too ham with this, so I added too much of this powder. And when it goes on, it's so light and airy and natural feeling that you really don't know that you're going overboard. And I am like the powder queen. I love going overboard with powders. And I did that one day and it was cakey. It was definitely cakey. So this is definitely a powder that I will use less of. And so luckily it will last longer for me because other powders I tend to go through pretty quickly. I go through powders like nobody's business, but do not add too much of this if you do buy it. So it's gonna be completely up to you. So final thoughts, if I'm going to suggest one to you guys, I feel way more comfortable suggesting the Chanel one. But I have to say that texture-wise, the La Prairie wins, and I'm definitely going to use it up. I'm, it's getting used up. <laughs> I hope this was helpful. Let me know down below what you think. And I know I'm going to get all the comments, $220? Yeah, I get it. I just wanted to see what it's like. And I also bought the pressed version, but I think I got the wrong color. I've kind of played with it a little bit, but I really want to use that and see how I feel about it before I show that one to you. So yeah, that one I think is the same price, but it's pressed. Anywho, <laughs> I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.